Let's talk about one more thing that I think can really help you become the efficient powerhouse that you've always wanted to be, and that is controlling this crazy workspace. Now, we've got all kinds of things going on here. You've got the toolbar over on the left. you got the panels on the right. They're collapsed right now. We have all this stuff going on, and what we want to do is control it. Now, if you've ever taken any one of my classes on Photoshop, doesn't matter what it is, I do talk about making workspaces, and it's basically the same thing. I can come over here, number one, and uncollapse this area. And I'm thinking, well, I got color, color guide, and color themes, like those. Swatches, brushes, symbols. Hmm. Nah, I don't need symbols for my workflow for what I'm doing today, or this week, or whatever. Don't use those. So I can drag them out if I want to, just like this. I could leave them there, which would be kind of ridiculous. Or I can click right here and say goodbye. So I've eliminated one panel out of many. You get the idea. We can do anything we want here. I come down here. I double click on libraries, which will re-expand it. And I go to layers, do the same thing. And I'm thinking, well, appearance, got to have that. I love that. Libraries, love that. Graphic style, not so much. Don't need it. I can, again, drag it out and put it someplace else if I want to or get rid of it. Now, I like my brushes, but I would like the ability to see my brushes and maybe my swatches without clicking here. So I can drag it out. I can put it someplace else. I could put it right in the middle. See that blue line? Watch the blue line. I let go there. It puts it right there. I've got instant access to both. Let me go ahead and bring it back out again. I don't want it over there at all, but I want access to it, and I don't want it right there. So if I drag it over, watch. Watch the blue line. I can put it over here. I can collapse it if I want to. Now, if you're looking for something based on the Essentials workspace we're in that isn't over here, you can come up here to the word window and there's everything. There's got to be like a hundred different panels up here, all kinds of crazy stuff. You say, well, you know what? I work a lot with links. And so I come down here to links and that's not over there. So it pops it up. So I have links and I do have actions too. I'll leave both those in there. If I want to move them both at the same time, I don't drag on the tab. That's going to pull it out. I drag up here, and maybe I'm going to put that over here, but not like this, underneath this one. Now, if I collapse this one again to get more space, if I want, say, for example, my swatches, I can click here, and notice because it's collapsed, it's not going to squeeze your screen to give it room. It'll put it on top. Same thing with over here. I am controlling my workspace, but that's not all. Let's say we work a lot with type. So we tear this off. Maybe put it over here somewhere. Kind of out of the way. But I use that a lot. I want access to it without going to the toolbar. So I've done a lot of different things. You get the idea. You're creating a workspace that is unique maybe for a particular project that you're working on that only gives you the things you need to get the job done. So you come up to the word Essentials on the pull-down menu, and you go down to New Workspace. Now, you can also do this from the pull-down menu under the word Window, if you want to do it that way. But if you go New Workspace, give it a name. Now, Andy's Workspace is not really that descriptive. It might be text-oriented or something else. But if I click OK, I now have Andy's Workspace up here. I also have it under the word Window if I go into Workspace right there. So you can get it in either area. If I go back to Essentials, you will notice nothing changes because we modified Essentials to get to this point, and Adobe says, well, maybe they want to keep it this way. Now, I want Essentials back the way it was. So I'm going to go up to the word Essentials here and go down to Reset. So it takes it back to the way it was. Let me go ahead and collapse this one. But I can go back up here to Andy's workspace anytime I want to, and reaccess that one. I am a big believer in workspaces. I have dozens of different workspaces that just give me the things that I need. I work on multiple monitors. You may too. A lot of the stuff is on the other monitors on my left or right, which gives me full access to my image without any distractions whatsoever. If you decide you don't want this one anymore, you can click here and go down to manage workspaces, or again, you can do it from up here and say manage workspaces. There it is. Now you can make a new one, or you can say, nope, don't want it anymore. Are you sure? Yeah, I am sure. And now we are back to the way we started. Use workspaces. Now where we want to be 
at least for the next chapter or so, is in the Essentials workspace. So if you don't see what I see, even though you're on Essentials, you might want to come down here and say Reset and make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. Workspaces can help you out. Don't forget you got them. I want to thank you for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.